Impress Art. So it looks like we have two of these, two sets. I haven't really looked up exactly what they're for, but looks like Impress Art. Looks like they're about 32 bucks each at some places. That's like a smaller set for 14. That's Amazon. So that's just Amazon. I don't know if you can get them cheaper somewhere else or not. But here's two sets right here. So I'm all, I think I, I don't know if I can fit both in this box or not. I think, oh. yeah, I think they'll both fit. No, Elion's. And mine. No, they're not yours. And mine. So we're going to put these on eBay, I guess starting at 99 cents. So if anybody wants them, you might be able to get it for 99 cents. Come on, man. Or whoever gets it for whatever. I guess I don't really think I need them for anything. So anyway, that's going on and we have more coming. More stuff. Look at this great auction Very someone has going on. The Schnauzer Dog Christmas Schnauzer Dog Light Up. It's an auction now, starting. At $34.99. I wonder why there's no bids. <laughs> <laughs> what? Alright, well we <laughs> well we have a holiday light up fluffy schnauzer dog in outdoor Christmas decoration. Mm -hmm. Ours is gonna start at 99 cents. I mean that is so ridiculous. Here's the schnauzer dog. <laughs> light up fluffy schnauzer dog. And he does light up, and he's he not lights broken. Up. All, he has all of his pieces. Looks like all the parts are here. His ears. His scarf. His tail. His tail. Everything's here. Even um, extra lights. Extra lights. Yep. We're not so, going to fully put them together. Yeah, we're not no going to put them together. we got to put them back in the box. But His head comes off. He goes back in the box. And boom. Yeah, we he don't. He works. We don't see any damage at all. So, I No, don't know. even the pin that holds his head on is still there. There's a yeah, little pin. So. That goes into there. Holds his head on. He's perfectly fine. Put that pin on there good so it mm -hmm. won't get lost. So we're going to box the Schnauzer dog back up. And we're going to start him at 99 cents. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want to say is we're going to do the auction shorter. A week was just too long. It even kills us waiting a week. So we're going to do the auction shorter like two or three days instead of a week. That's just too long. I actually so. wanted to show this thing. Um... This is actually from the video where we found all of the the pet treats and snacks and toys. Um, we were at the Michaels dumpster, and I said, "Oh my gosh, it's a lantern!" You know, I was I was making a big deal about us finding a lantern. That's what I thought this was, but it's not a lantern. This is what it is. It is actually a wedding card box. It is Tutera um, card box. So I guess it's um, where you put all of the wedding cards for, like if you're having a wedding, it, like, it's just where they keep all the cards, I guess, for the money and for the bride and room and stuff. Um, the only the only problem with it, it is actually not broken, except for the bottom. The bottom doesn't have the glass, but oh, when no, you're sitting it, it there, did it have glass? I don't even. Think. Yeah, yeah, it had a piece of glass on the bottom, which doesn't really make sense. But anyway, when you lift it up, the car like this lifts up right here. The cards go inside. You could always glue it to a nice piece of wood. Or yeah, something like, I mean, or... it, the whole thing is perfect except for the bottom, which is the bottom, I think, was the best part to be missing, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's a David Tutera card box. I'm just trying to see if it'll fit in this box. I'm thinking it yeah, will. Yeah, it looks like it will. It looks like it'll fit, like, really good. So this was not a lantern. And I'm not oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, 
Good grief. Dang. It don't get much better than that. Yeah, that's so almost perfect. Yeah, you definitely want at least a piece of styrofoam right here so it does no, not get broken. Stuff some bubble wrap in there yep. and bam. There you I go. I think that's good for shipping right Daddy. there. Daddy. Cool. Nice and tight. Daddy. Cool. All right, here we go. Two paper shredders. We've had people asking about paper shredders and here's two we have in the box. And they both look brand spanking new. Alright. Get this thing out of here. Get this bad boy on it. Turn it over? Huh? Turn it over? It, yeah, it has been used. Oh, it has been used. So we know, we, we probably know what's wrong with it. Get Jammed there. up. Because, I mean, it's a light duty shredder. Yeah. These things, they say like light duty. This, oh. this is what we need right there. Right there. And it just happens to come with it. So when these things are backed up like this and they're, they, they got too much paper in them, you try to run them. First, you try to run them backwards. Oh, so you just run it through. Yes. And that has the oils and stuff in it. But no, no, no. First, you want to try to run it backwards. Oh, I got to plug it up. But because it comes with this, it is like, this is the absolute best way to fix these things. But if you don't have these, just, you know, a little bit of uh, lubricant oil on the, on the teeth will fix it. Okay, so, it's not coming on? Okay. Okay, that's, there we go. So, it's already fixed. <laughs> well, we'll still run I'm saying through. that's, that's gonna, that's gonna make it, like, new. Yep. Those are the lubricant teeth. They get the teeth all like nice and there's nothing wrong with it. Yep, it worked. <laughs> Dang, that's the kind that shreds up like tiny little dots. That's no joke. Alright, watch out, Elion's. Alright, we're gonna run a new sheet of paper through it. Go! Just to, so already fixed. It's fixed, it works. It works. But anyway, <laughs> this is going starting out. At uh, 99 cent, so perfectly working paper shredder, and it's already been lubricated. And just pay attention oh, to how nice. much a new one costs. <laughs> pay attention and see how much a new one costs before you run the auction up. We don't want people paying new prices for this stuff. Put this back in there. Like new. Shreds up to four times smaller than most crosscut sh shredders. Yes, it does. It really turns it into like confetti. Oh. Fun for weddings. <laughs> you can make your own wedding confetti. All right. Just like that. And back in the box. And that's how it's going to be shipped. Just like that. I'm going to box it up like new. And bam. Starting at 99 cent. I don't, I don't <laughs> this one, I don't know if it's ever been over. I, guar it I it guarantee it has. They just taped it up to make it seem like. New. Yeah, I guarantee it has. But probably, well, hopefully it comes with its, its lubricating sheets. <laughs> and this, this is a little showing one. the names of these things. This is the smaller one. The Ativa 3.4 gallon sheet. This one is the Ativa 8, eight sheet. Oh, so it's saying you can, gallon. you can put in 8 sheets maximum. Just be careful with your damn paper shredder. Yeah, just don't put a bunch in there. Now, this one. This one looks this one pretty looks, new. <laughs> pretty damn this new. This one is brand new. Okay, it's brand new. Yeah, this one so is we have brand to, new. So we have to because we but, found it in a dumpster. Yeah, we are going to still test it. So it's going to be technically. What? Um, and what? this one is going to also auction at 99 cents. You sure we don't want to keep one of these? We got like two or three more in storage. Okay. They're just not new in the box. All right, just one sheet, please. They're like brand new, <laughs> not in the box. But. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's a slow one. It's a slow guy. A little bit slow. <laughs> But it does a trick. It's, it, well, it is small. It's a little And dude. it doesn't cut them as, like squares like the other one does. But So, 
Whatever. This one is more of a super shredder. This one is more of, you know, hey, I just want to shred some sheets of paper. All right. Cool. And it works. It works. Going There's right. these little lubricating right. sheets and instructions. Right back in the now box. Now I'm selling dumpster mailboxes. I think everybody's asked about the dumpster mailboxes. Okay, so these are the mailboxes that we found A in lot of people have the asked Michael's about dumpster. Oh, and this is my, this is, I, okay. There's no way you're going to use them like this, right? So whoever buys these are going to have to have a creative eye and they're going to have to, you know, sand it, paint it, do whatever. But these would be so freaking cute as little mailboxes, you know, the, no, well, yeah, but you know those little Valentine's mailboxes mm -hmm. that you had in school, like when the girl would put her Valentine in your box, and he's like, oh, that was from Katie. Not only that, but this could be like by your door for your outgoing uh, mail. You know it can't. Or... You know it can't, because it, if it gets wet, it, you're screwed. No, I'm talking about inside. Oh, it, yeah. Inside. Like by your door for outgoing mail. Yeah. I'm just saying, there's a million ideas yeah. you could do with these. You don't want to put them outside. <laughs> no, you definitely don't want them outside, that's for sure. But they're really, really cute. You can do anything you want. You don't have to take our advice. You can do anything you want, but there are... We're going to do two boxes, and there's four mailboxes in four each. Four in each. We're starting them, of course, at 99 cents. So whatever you decide to do artistically. So you can fix them and flip them. Yeah. You can make gifts out of them. Okay, these are $20 each. They are $20 each at Michael's. So if you if you fix them up, you could sell them for whatever. I mean, you could make them cute and sell them and flip them, like you said. Yeah. Four in each box. Each box has four. There are eight in all. So there's going to be two boxes of four. Just like this. It's going to be three like that. And then we're going to have to throw some bubble wrap in here just to kind of protect them a little bit. I guess if so. you were really, really creative, you could actually make it say letter, letters to say that you knew how to. Oh, well, <laughs> if you want my advice, this actually sticks up. Yeah. So even if you paint over it, yeah. it'll still stick up. So then you can yeah. come back and paint over it. True. Or, or you could tape it and paint or around it. Or you could just do whatever the hell you want to do. Do whatever you want. <laughs> but these things are starting to This nice. is our problem. This is our problem. <laughs> like we want to fix everything. Yeah, you know what I mean? But, like we can fix it. But these are starting at 99 cents for four of them. So. Yeah, they're split up in two separate packages for two different people. The next. Or unless one person really wants to fight for them. The next box we're about to talk about is like really, it's it's an expensive box. And we are taking a damn chance putting this thing on for 99 cents. Well, what is it? It's the painting box. Oh, we're probably not going to start that at 99 cents. We could be real brave. <laughs> All right, well, let's put it okay, together. So, okay. container boxes. We have to figure out, like right now, how we're doing this. We have a these. ton well, of painting supplies. Well, because of these two right here, we had to kind of get bigger boxes, just so these will fit. But yeah, these are uh, artist what palette. I actually looked the prices up of all this stuff. I can't even like I can't remember now. I looked it up when we first found it. But these super expensive. Yeah, they're really expensive. But anyway, I'm putting one of these in each box. We're gonna have two large art boxes. And those take the reason these are cool is because they actually keep your paper and your um, paints. They have like this little sheet of paper that goes in here and it keeps your paints moist. Unfortunately, we only had one pack of this paper with us. Seems like we had more. I don't know, but I guess I'm gonna open them and just split them up and put half and half. So there's 50, there's 30 sheets. So there there will be 15 sheets in each box. But True. all right. So well, I guess we're gonna open this and put 15 in each. And then we got two of these. What are those? They are like. Locking pallets. Locking pallets. So you put all of your paints in here, you mix them here with water, and I thought maybe the paper fit in there, but you said you don't think it did. Yeah. 
So okay, so there's one of these. And then each. we got these. Is that the same locking? Yep. Oh, so those are in their box. So these we. Oh, box. okay. So that's Artelier. Oh, these are different. It is. It is different. It is different. It's Artelier's. So there's gonna be one in each. This one even. So it is the same. This one actually looks nicer. It's got like a gasket. Or maybe the other one does too. Yeah, that is nice. But, oops. Basically the same thing. It is the same. It, and I'm it guessing, no, I mean it literally oh, yeah, it literally, literally yes, is the, the same. same. Yeah. So yeah. it's okay. Artelier. Okay. And And I'm guessing you could put the paper in, in there also. Yeah. Alright. So that keeps your paint All right. nice and moist as you're so, painting. Alright, so that sweetens the deal because there's two in each box and these things are freaking expensive i can't remember what they are now but i just remember that it was a lot and we have acrylic paints acrylic, to go with your paint sets acrylic paints never open brand new never open what's the price on those i don't know Does dang not it say. dang but it i know they're expensive too I'm and these sure. are from michael's uh, Do you remember? Is it Joanne's or Michael's? Oh, maybe it was Joanne's. You're right. I think it was Joanne's. So one of these in each. In each. And tri-colored pencils. These are the really cool coloring pencils that have three different colors in each pencil. So it's good for shading and... It's just really cool. Brand new. I kept a couple of those for myself, actually. Brand new, never opened. Very cool. One in each box. And then we got two kind of, well, here's the stay wet. Yeah, this is the kind that takes the paper that keeps your paints from drying out. And we only had one of these, which I'm sure we found more, but yeah. for some reason we only have one. I'm pretty sure we actually have more of this stuff in storage, so these aren't going to be the only art boxes. So one of the boxes is going, going to have the Stay Wet Handy Palette, and the other one is going to have the Locking Palette, which, which it does the same thing. It keeps your paints from drying out. This one just has a locking... Is it unscrew or what? You have to... Okay, well that one's got a crack in it. This one does have a little bit of a crack. And that one has paper Oh, it as comes well. pa with paper. So, this one will have the re the rectangular one that comes with paper, and this one will have the locking oh, palette. Oh, I see, this locks. Yeah, this one has the locking palette that also comes with the round paper. So, but it's whichever not box you get, you're going to get yeah. a locking palette. Unfortunately, yeah, it's not. Perfect. This is all dumpster stuff. This one's not perfect, but, you know, we just had to let you know. Yeah. All right, so this is how we're going to do the art box. In a lot smaller box. And I'm going to show you a, a trick. Pencils. And then we're going to slide this box over that box. Cool. And then we're going to take oh, it together. Oh, that's perfect. Just like that. Okay. So it's going to be a whole lot smaller with the same amount of stuff jam -packed. That's perfect. Cool. So much better. So that's how those two are going to be in these small boxes. Cool. Work. Cool. Cool. Ooh. All right. Here we go. More stuff. Okay. This it is an art box, but this is like so random. There's just all kinds of stuff. So I figure just show them what's in it. I mean, it's not really for painting or coloring. It's just all for everything. It's for painting, coloring, arts and crafts, just a bunch of stuff. Um, this is actually a uh, Kaleidoscope Coloring Llamas book, which still comes, they're a little shaky, but they've never been used. The markers have never been used. It's the original pastel markers with the glitter, and the book has never been used either. And it's really cute. It's like an adult coloring book, but it's like, you know, llama print. It's really cute, though, and most people really do like llamas. I like llamas. Who doesn't like llamas? So it's a really cute adult coloring book. Markers are just a little shaky, but it's going in the box. Yep, going in the box. And it fits perfect. Okay. And do we want to add this? Sure. Will it fit? If it fits, we'll add it. If it fits. Mm, I'm not, not adding it. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's not going to fit. All right, All right. So um, next, 
We have, um, are these watercolors or, yeah, watercolors. Yes, yeah, watercolors. Um, slightly no, used. No lid. No lid. They're just, oh, here we go. Artist locked watercolors set. Slightly used, but in good condition. No cover. We have mixed media paint brushes, just a bunch of different shapes and sizes going in the box. Um, we have, these are, I was actually thinking about keeping these, but whatever. I actually really like them. Um, these are artist drawing scents. This is the, the pencils, uh, it's 2BB and HB, which is like really dark, dark, like black. The comes one's with a, gray. Comes with a sharpener. And an eraser. It's actually really, really nice. I hate letting these go, but oh, it's going in the box. We have a set of coloring pencils. I guess this was from Five Below. That's just my guess. But they're in really good condition. Nothing wrong with them. Never been used. <coughs> mm. All right, we have it's a little drawing pad, great for medium surfaces, uh, mainly for pencils, colored pencils, dry media. Cool. So that's going in. Okay, these are pretty cool. This is Windsor & Newton. This is a very, very good brand of coloring pencils. I keep opening them wrong. Okay, I know why I keep opening them wrong now. Because they're upside they're down. They're upside down. <laughs> okay, let's put them in right. Okay. I get it now. So, these are actually really good quality colored pencils. And it looks like this was for a, a certain color scheme. These are not like the regular like red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So this is definitely like a color scheme set. Um, I'm going to say, I wonder if it says on, that's a shame. I mean, it looks like it's like forest colors, you know, kind of woodsy, woodsy colors. So, anyway, these, I, I guarantee this set is like $14.99 to $19.99. Just because it's the Windsor & Newton brand. That's going in. We have Radiate Positivity. Uh, this, it's just cute. It's, I, I scrolled through it a little bit. Um, it's just like literally like little, it's cardstock. And it's just different like happy, happy cardstocks. You can, it's good for scrapbooking. Just really cute pages. You can do different stuff with them. So, you know, cute papers. Yes, yes, yes. Too rad to be sad. And it, I think it just, um, the only reason it ended up in the dumpster was because the tag got broke. <laughs> it's like, literally brand new. So, uh, do we have a price on this? Nope. Anyway, Radiate Positivity book. Well, I'm guessing all this mixed stuff were at like at least a hundred bucks or more. Oh, it's, it can add up definitely. Yeah, this stuff definitely adds up. This is um, 110 patterns. Th these are the patterns that you can use for those like shrinky dink things, I don't know what they're called, but they're like beads, and you yeah. you put the beads down, and then you heat iron them up. Them or yeah, I iron them, and then they turn into like little decorations or Melted whatever. Melted pictures. Yeah. So there's a hundred and ten of those oh, patterns. Like a drum set. <laughs> and this is obviously why it ended up in the dumpster because it got ripped. But they're all there, perfect, like new. And let's see, does this have a price? It's like nothing has a price. So dumb. Anyway. We'll try to add what price is. Which is so, a very yeah. hooked up, interesting box there. Yes. Lots of fun. Paint. Was it pencils, paints? We forgot these. Oh. I thought these were mine, but they're not. I think I already took mine out. Yeah, they're over here. Okay. Um, these are the tricolor pencils. These are the pencils that have three colors in each 
tip for shading and creating subtle cutter, color gradations and layering effects. And I do believe that these are $14.99 each, if I remember correctly. So two of those are going in. Going in the box. What is, like, I don't want them, like, what is this? It's like random art box? Uh, yeah, random so art box. So the other box. ones are painting boxes. Yeah. This one's random arts and... Cool. Crafts. Cool. Try to get it, like, focused in as much on these as possible. All right. Okay, so I want to talk about these Valentine's cards we found. And I feel like we need to sell them fast so that people can actually pass okay. them out for Valentine's Day because it's in like two weeks. Yeah. So we need to sell them fast. Yeah. Um, the cool thing about these cards, it, they're just all so cute. They're all so cute. That one has a little mini umbrella. This one is, um, they got Mickey Mouse ones. Like, look at these. They're, they're like really, really cute. Some have flowers, some have... Look, Paper Wonder, these ones pop up. So we got pop-up ones. We have ones with stickers. We have kitty ones. We have these, okay, these are for girls. These have stickers for girls. And then we have the tiger ones that are for boys. Look at these, like there's there's Little just, it's, one. you can't imagine how, together. how many cute ones are in here. And, and they're like they're all like 3D or whatever. Yeah, and they're all eight dollars each. Yeah. These are eight dollars each. This is each. an expensive box. These card. are from the Hallmark dumpster, okay? And look at these. Like the, every one of them is cute in a different way. And I mean, they're not dated, so I mean, they could be mm -hmm. used for years. This one's a peanut butter and jelly one. You open it, and she's got her little peanut butter in, inside. And um, let me try to see if I can find the. I just had them. All right, anyway, look at these. I mean, if you have more look patience than us, you could actually resell these too. Yes. We just don't have time to sit here and they're just so intricate. sell all of these separate. They're all, they're all cool in their own little way. Like this, look at that, $7.99. They're all $8. So this is, I mean, can you imagine how much that would be to add all these up? All right, these are the ones for girls. These are the ones for boys, and when you open them, they have a little sticker book inside. And this one is three, $3.59. So these are $3.59. And then they have the ones that are made out of wood. Yeah. <laughs> like, those are these awesome. Are How much are those wooden ones? $8.99. So those are nine. Oh, let's see. These are four ninety nine. Thanks. Seven. I mean, there's no way we can show them all. They're just <clears throat> they're so cute. And, oh, that's got like a yeah, it's like, like a, a little ball in there. baseball. And it's like a piece of wood. There's flower ones, pop up ones. <coughs> we just if we could resell these, we'd be set. But we'd rather just put them up for ninety nine cents. That way, yeah. you guys. I mean. These are so cute. Oh, think about like for scrapbooking or crafting, yeah. you know, arts and crafts stuff. Yeah. You can use okay. the little flowers, or the butterflies. They're just, they're okay. so, yeah. they're okay. so cute. And okay. 99 cents for the whole thing. It's like box. another umbrella thing. Someone's gonna get a very, very good deal with these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, very good deal. Mm. True love. Oh, look at this one. It has actual Scrabble pieces on it. They're wood. Okay. <laughs> that is cute. Four ninety nine. So. Just all kinds of just box of cards. Very nice cards. Very very nice cards. Oh <laughs> Very cute. See, you could use that for scrapbooking. But this is why we, we always keep this stuff because we're like, you could, you could, we could, you, we awesome. could use it for this, we could use it for that. And then we start hoarding stuff because we think we can use it later, yeah. but there just ain't enough time in the world for us to use all of this stuff. So we have to let it go and at least make some money off of it. We'll find so. more. 
We'll find more, but yeah, I want to get this stuff sold definitely as oh. all. <laughs> Cheers. My heart belongs to you. Pink kitty orange kitty. And there's another wooden Eiffel Tower. Anyway, I think they get the point. They're yeah. really cute. <laughs> the point is, is this box is worth hundreds. Oh gosh. Three or four hundred dollars worth of cards, I'm guessing. Yeah. Open it. yeah. Open it. And we're not even gonna count on them. We're nope. just like, here's a box of cards. Open it. Nope. Expensive, Open nice it. cards. These are from Hallmark. A whole box full of them. Back. Stuff back in it. Yeah. He's so smart. Good job. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We got cigar boxes again. Okay. And this is five uh, of these okay. Javas. Uh, okay. These things are nice. Uh, man. Okay. Good boy. Oh, these yeah. have like a nice little tag More on More it. More it. Cloth tag. More it. More it. So, so here we go. Okay. Another Java. More it. <laughs> Watch your smell it. Mm. <laughs> These are like nice. And pretty much exactly like that last Java box. I don't know how many it was though. This is six of these. These three are bigger. Matching Javas. And then these, as you can see, are a tad smaller. So we're gonna see how much we can actually fit in here. This one is an Olivia, Oliva. It's like a sliding lid. That's going in there. Uh, whatever this is. Another sliding lid. There's a piece of wood in it. A little thin piece of wood. That one's going in there. Uh, how about... Ooh, that's a nice one. Aging room. Ooh, that's a nice box. I guess that's so you can sit the lid. Oh, that's... So this one can actually put the lid in the back. Cool. If you want it open. Another very nice box. I like the finish on that one. Will that fit? Yep, that'll fit. And Ooh, that's pretty. That's a cool one. Oh, this one's got a removable. Oh no, it's not a removable tray. It's just loose. The I, I don't piece is loose. We'll get it. All right, so there's box. All right, I might be able to fit these two Avos in there. Both of them are Avo. They have the actual latches on them. Nice wooden boxes that should fit. And another one with basically, they have the same like latches too. So, so they kind of match. And I think that's about all it's going to fit. All right, so how many are in here? All right, so we got the, the five Javas, the two Avo boxes. Here's the Avo, here's the Avo. So that's seven. That guy with the design on it, that's eight. The really nice aging room, that's nine. Ten. Eleven. Cool. Eleven nice boxes. Awesome. I'll fit into one and I'll try to put some bubble wrap in here. So. 